But first here tonight at five, four days after storms ripped through Kentuckyana, one West Louisville homeowner says the damage to his house could have been avoided, and now he's asking for help cleaning up. Thanks for joining us at five. I'm Doug Profit, and I'm Lisa Hudson in for Rachel Platt tonight. The city owns the big tree that fell on his house Thursday afternoon, but he is responsible for the cleanup and the damage to his home. Tonight, Shea McAllister is asking more questions and getting some answers. Shea. Okay. Doug, Lisa, the man who lives in this house behind me has spent his entire weekend without power working to chop up this tree in his front yard. It's more than 100 years old. We now know the tree has been dead for years. He says he knows that the tree is his responsibility since it fell on his yard, but tonight he needs some help. <laughs> It's been a long weekend for 66 year old Anthony Wade. Tearing up the tree that tore up his roof. Because if I didn't know, have the slightest clue about trees or uh, 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 working on houses, I really would be in the dark. The tree fell on Wade's house during Thursday's storms. He says he knows what landed on his property is his responsibility. He also says he knows this shouldn't have happened. The act of God is one thing. I understand the act of nature. It's no one's fault, but this could have been avoided. Wade says he worried about this tree, even calling the city to report his concerns. The city has record of that call. It was August of 2015. An urban forester inspected the tree soon after and found it was dead. Well, who's, going, who's responsible for this tree? City officials say they sent this letter to Wade's next door neighbor, the rightful owner of the tree, asking them to take the tree down within 30 days. It's been two and a half years and the tree is still there. No one had followed up. One bad storm later and it's Wade's problem now. So I went through the channels of what I was told to do. I had to go down, get a permit. I have no electricity since Thursday. My food meat why it's a sport and this is where I'm at now. He still doesn't have electricity or answers. The majority of this mess riding on this homeowner who tried to take action years ago in an attempt to avoid it. And we talked to Metro, Metro Public Works earlier today about whose responsibility is this? And they tell us it is on the homeowner to clean up all of this behind me. The next door neighbor is also responsible. And then once all of this mess is gone, Public Works will come out here to clean up this portion of the tree because it's sticking out into the street. That is all they say that they are responsible for. And that's not until the rest of this is already gone. Live in the Chickasaw neighborhood, I'm Shay McAllister, WHAS 11 News.